In my latest live stream, I made a huge mistake. I gave chat the authority to choose any Pokemon for me to use in Gen 3 OU, and they made me play with some truly garbage tier Pokemon, like Relicanth. Kamekane in the chat said, what does this do? And there's no answer. I don't have an answer. Victory Bell. You're kidding me. That's terrible. You can't have anything in this world, let me tell you. And Eradicate. This has too much defense, I'm, I'm in trouble. I gotta just return then. For 38, come on. I didn't consider the Weezing matchup, and I have to be honest when I say that. But you know what they say, folks. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Some of these Pokemon requests that I expected to be completely terrible really surprised me. Ampharos time. It's in, we're Ampharos gaming. It, it, it was never in contention. It was never a problem. Folks, a Swampert? I got bad news. What? The two most noteworthy performances were from Gligar and Walrin. Gligar's stats are not fantastic, but ground flying is an incredible type combination. Gligar is immune to sandstorm damage, spikes, ground type attacks, and electric type attacks. Ground and flying are really nice stab types, and it also has sword stance. It even has hyper cutter, making it immune to the attack drop effect of intimidate. Alongside Magneton, this can be an okay sweeper. Walrin also really surprised me. This Pokemon is excellent in UU, but in OU it has stiff competition from other bulky water types. Water Ice is a much worse typing than a simple mono water. Rock weakness, fighting weakness, and neutrality to steel are huge detriments in this metagame. You at least have thick fat, but that barely makes up for it. Walrin does have one noteworthy moveset option though. Encore, a very rare move in Gen 3 that has a lot of useful applications. You can use this to disrupt Blissey and other passive walls, which can force switches, making Walrin a bit of a stool breaker. Stab Ice Beam is a powerful tool as well. I would not necessarily recommend using these Pokemon on the ladder yourself, but I was very surprised by how well they performed for me. Let's enjoy a funny display of Gligar and Walrin exceeding expectations. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to ensure that Iron Mugulus never sets foot in Gen 3 OU. Thank you. Now, you know what's interesting? Gligar kind of checks Gyarados. He's Gly his Metagross. I might take this Earthquake, honestly. Not bad. If you blow up on Gligar, then that's an amazing trade. Oh my god, we're gaming. Go Gyarados, I have Hyper Cutter, you can't lower my attack. Oh, this is fantastic. We're faster too. What in the world? This is, this is unbelievable. Okay. That's an outstanding Gligar. Earthquake the Metagross. I'll get the Magnet, just get, just take out a Magneton real quick. Where's Glidus? Is Glidus in the chat? Look at what you're doing. Look at your success. Hey, don't hit Megahorns, I'm better. Don't hit any. I win the battle. You explain to me what Gligar does? Let me explain to you through, you come in Gyarados, you Earthquake this Metagross right here, of course. Take a measly 67 from from Meteor Mesh. Swords Dance on the Protect, real quick. Oh, they can go Gyarados and Intimidate. Wait a minute. Hyper Cutter, idiot. Plus I'm faster. And we take our Gyarados. So you get one shot by Band Metagross. Don't, don't worry so much about that. Focus on the game that just happened, which is not an outlier. That's going to happen most games. Is it Walrin's moment? Walrin? Walrain? Walrin? I know it's a walrus, folks. I'm saying whale even though it's a walrus, but... Let's try and do something with this. I spin the incoming Zapdos for the viewers. Go Zapdos right now. You can't stay here. It's impossible. Swamp it. Get ice beamed. Get toxic. Walrin's getting such... Such value. Encore, you can't refresh. Get defeated like nothing else. Ice Beam the Zapdos, I knew we would expect Encore. This Whalerin just got, it froze too. 
Wailrun comes in and the game's over in a few moments. Wailrun, sorry, excuse me. Did you just see what unfolded folks? That's a... That was gaming to, to another level of game. That was a powerful Pokemon. See, Encore is cool. You thought that was it, folks, but you were wrong. We have some bonus content. In this battle, a viewer made me use the Pokemon Shellgon. And what happens next might just make you emerge from your shell in absolute shock. You gotta run Shellgon alongside its its own father. That's just logical. Like, this isn't bad. <laughs> you can pressure your Rockhead Double Edge, you pressure Swamp It. We're up against Raxius Gaming of ADV Revival fame. We're off to a good start. We traded with a Tyranitar. Faster on the Zapdos. Free Surf. Chip on Zapdos I'll take. Here's Bliss. Is that Superman? Could be Tabless Superman. It's good Zapdos plus Molt. It's possible. Ta I usually go Tajirachi because you'd suck with sand and spikes. Toxic also. I think you need like Wish and stuff. I don't know if you're on Toxic. Maybe you'd, you're foregoing... Seismic Toss. No, but you have Seismic Toss. We just carried carried that easy. This has Raw 2, maybe? Yes, okay. But that's alright, of course. You know who we go to? Shelgon. It's Shelgon's time. You're overheated, you're going Blissey. I explode. We take out Swap It. Easy. I'm in trouble, actually. No! Only bad outcome. That's bad. Folks. Oh, we... Okay, we salvage it. Somehow. No. Am I faster? We're faster! Let's go. This is a victory. Yeah, it's slow picks up. I thought so. And there you have it, folks. Father and son. Shelgon and Salamence came together for a triumphant victory against all odds. That's absolutely beautiful. The money got big, big. Cause I'm gonna spend big.